despite yesterday's storm, the drought continues on the central coast and across the state. And our Keith Carl's joining us live with more on those calls for water conservation. Hi, Keith. Yeah, two words that uh, are going to be drilled into a lot of folks' uh, 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 practices that when it comes to water use uh, here in California as we enter into another year of drought. Uh, despite all that rain and the snow that we got and the higher elevations uh, from uh, yesterday's storm system, the drought continues to keep a grip on California. Uh, the driest three months uh, of the new year here in 2022 in California history. Now, in his uh, executive order that he issued yesterday, Governor Gavin Newsom is calling on water suppliers to, to step up their drought response with greater water conservation programs. He stopped short of requiring water rationing or setting a statewide conservation target. It will now be up to local agencies and water districts to get customers to cut back on their water use. Now, the governor's order does not apply to agricultural water providers. The stage two or level to water shortage emergency order uh, could also include cutting the number of days when outdoor irrigation of all types is permitted, including lawn sprinklers. The situation is serious. This isn't a case where you can just run your sprinklers willy nilly and there won't be ultimately consequence. I'm not sure if this is year three of a three year drought or year three of a continuing drought. Now, the emergency regulations are expected to take effect by mid-June. Local water suppliers must act as if their water supplies have dropped by at least 10 to 20 percent. Uh, as we mentioned, now entering a third year, most of California, including the Central Coast, remains in severe or extreme drought conditions. Reporting live in the San Maria Valley this morning, I'm News Channel reporter Keith Carls. Joan Elise, I'll send it back to you.